Memes have evolved so dramatically over the span of the internet. Meme review. Meme review. Meme review. First it was a picture that was possibly relatable which made it funny and now kids have turned it into something that is unrelatable and not funny and when it is funny, the only reason it's funny is because it's loud and random. We mine, we are mining diamonds. Before I get ahead of myself, what even is considered a meme? Well, since memes have become a big part of internet culture these days, it's now a dictionary definition. An element of a culture or system of behavior that may be considered to be passed from one individual to another by non-genetic means, especially imitation. I thought it was just a funny picture with impact fonted words. Shows what I know. A humorous image, video, piece of text, etc. that is copied and spread rapidly by internet users. So according to this definition, anything on the internet that's funny and goes viral is a meme. That doesn't sound right. Well, looks like we'll need some internet experts on the situation. True connoisseurs of the art of memes to make sure we know exactly what we're doing here. So we know how to make a meme in today's culture. With these tips, you'll be able to make the dankest of memes that all of your friends will reference for years to come until another meme steals the spotlight. I now present to you the owner of the Sense of Memes Corporation and Chris, a meme marketing expert. How do you make a meme? Well, you put two of me together. <laughs> the top definition of a meme in the Urban Dictionary simply states, it's not a word, it's a lifestyle. I can confirm that that is 100% true. I didn't choose the meme life. The meme life chose me. I've been studying memes for years, and to be frank, my memes are dank. Deal with it. I have a master's of dank memes from the prestigious Collegy McCollege face. And today I want to share just a little bit of my vast, vast meme knowledge with you today. Today I'm going to teach you the very basics of the simple, classic meme style. First, you need to choose your base photo for the meme. Step two, you need to add words on the top and bottom. These need to be in white with an impact font and a black border around them. Step three, celebrate. Congratulations, you've created your first meme. Now don't be overwhelmed by the incredibly complex process of creating a classic meme. I'll repeat the steps one more time so you can get a hang of it and then practice on your own. Step one, choose a photo. Step two, choose a caption. Step three, celebrate. Now that doesn't even begin to explain the complexities of meme culture on the internet today, but it should be a great start to get you going. Well, that's all the time I have for today. I'm a busy man, but uh, thanks for watching and I hope you learned something. A meme is anything that you want it to be that's funny to you. For example, Bill Clinton or Joe Biden, you see pictures of them and you put like a funny caption to them. That's a meme. You see a guy dancing and you send that link to another person telling that person that it's something else. That's a meme. A meme can be anything that you want it to be no matter what the situation and no matter what the circumstances. Thanks, experts! From the data that I've gathered from both the experts and my own knowledge, there are two brands of memes. Classic and Deluxe. To create a classic meme, it is most appropriate to use the basic meme outlines like Grumpy Cat, Bad Luck Brian, the most interesting man in the world. You, you, you get the idea. Now, if you want to be risky, you can go for a classic Deluxe meme by using your own original picture instead of the basic meme outline, but that'll never get popular, so forget that. Let's use Grumpy Cat as an outline. My face when there's no coffee in the morning. So sad, much wow. Here we can see it's relatable because it's funny to most coffee drinkers, and it's Grumpy Cat, which basically everybody knows about at this point. Very nice, very nice. Now a deluxe meme is different in every single way. Instead of using the classic memes that are already popular, <laughs> memes are everything that's funny on the internet, apparently, as is proven by both dictionary definition and the internet itself. Itself, itself, itself. Honestly, there is so many ways to make a <laughs> meme, but one of the most popular ways is to make a funny edit out of copyrighted content, which is 99% of it. None of you wetheads would like the minute on my do we have to wear pickle jars? But in this video, I'm going to show you the simplest way to make a <laughs> meme. Oh gosh, I need to stop doing that. 
First, take out your phone and literally start recording any one thing. Next, yell literally anything that pops into your head. The plant. If you want, you can go for the tactic of saying the random thing and then screaming it from the top of your lungs. Here is example A. Is that? Is that alien? Is that alien? As we can see here, this crazy kid found an alien prop called it a random name, and then yelled the exact same thing at the top of his lungs. Do I think it's funny? No. I think it's garbage. The only way to improve this meme is to make it around and distort it when it says it the second time, because that's what a lot of memes tend to do, because loud and random is funny. Listen, boys and girls, the internet is a vast place. And because of that, there's so many new things to discover every day. I hope to make this series a place for me to commentate on specific internet subjects while also being entertaining. I'm Master Eve, and this has been the first episode of Internet Commentaries.